Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be able to be here. Thank you so much for having me. And welcome to our Scandia Selling Success Seminar. And right here at the very beginning, I want to share with you an illustration that I believe represents why we've all gathered here in Tallahassee. It's a story that comes right out of history. The year was 1815. The date was March 1st. On that day in history, a small ship sailed very quietly to dock in the French Riviera. A man stepped off that ship with a fire in his eyes. The tyrant was back. Napoleon had returned. At that time in his life, Napoleon had been exiled to an island called Elba, which is just off the coast of Italy. And he didn't want to live. And so he carried around his neck a pouch, which contained a poison called nightshade. He poured the poison into his body, hoping that it would kill him. But all he had was severe cramps and convulsions, and then he recovered. Shortly after his recovery, he escaped from his British captors, and he stole one of their ships. He had just stepped off his stolen ship to take out his revenge on all of Europe. You see, in his warped little way, Napoleon believed that he should have control of all of Europe. And he thought this was the perfect time to strike, because at that time, the Allies in Europe had so many differences they could not agree on. And so Napoleon was going to strike them when there was no unity. But sure enough, as soon as he stepped off his stolen ship and onto the continent, all those petty differences didn't seem so important now. And Europe united against Napoleon. One of the men they looked to to defend them was the Duke of Wellington. The Duke was a British hero. He was brave. He was courageous. And if anyone could stop Napoleon, it had to be the Duke of Wellington. Well, the Duke understood that a line would have to be drawn in the sand, and a battle eventually had to be fought. But before his battle, he was in Brussels preparing for it. And he and a member of the British Parliament by the name of Thomas Creevy were walking in Brussels Park. And as they were walking along, they noticed something. There was a young man just talking at a statue. The young man was a foot soldier, an infantryman, a red coat. Now, could this young man, almost a boy, could he make any difference at all in this global conflict that was now consuming them? Well, all of a sudden, Wellington grabbed Creepy by the arm and he pointed at the young man. He said, there! There! Look at him! Look at him! It all depends on that article, whether we do business or not. You give me enough of them, and I am sure of victory. Well, on June 18, 1815, that line was drawn in the sand, and the Battle of Waterloo was fought became known as one of the greatest military victories in all of history. Wellington had with him over 67,000 men and 150 artillery guns. Napoleon had over 71,000 men and 246 guns. The battle began at 11.25 in the morning, went all day long and into the evening, wouldn't until 10 o'clock that night. Because of heavy rains the night before, Napoleon continued to delay his attack. In hindsight, that delay cost him not this, only this battle, but the rest of his career. But at 11.25 that fateful morning, Napoleon pummeled the front of Wellington's line. The Wellington's men were fighting hard, but they were being shoved back. Finally, all hope for victory fell on the British infantry, the Redcoats, the young boys. It all fell on their shoulders. Well, they believed in his, their leader, Wellington. <coughs> they believed in his vision to stop Napoleon, and they even began to believe in themselves. And they pushed back. And they pushed back so hard and so firm that they held their ground until the reinforcements could arrive. And then that united front is what pushed Napoleon off the battlefield, licking his wounds. And Europe was safe again. Now you may be sitting here this morning thinking, you know what, that's a pretty good song. But what's that have to do with me? And what's that have to do with Scandia's selling success? Everything. 